This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. His name is Larry Bubbles Brown. That is your name, isn't it still? Yes, I can't shake it. Yeah, you can't get rid of the bubbles part of it? There's other Larry Browns in the, uh, let's see, there's a basketball coach. Yes, I know. a football player. Yep, yep. Every time I look up Larry Brown, I get about a half a dozen Larry Browns. Yes, it's a good alias. (laughs) Yeah. But you're not a basketball player, you're just a lousy comic, right? Right, a lousy comic. Yeah. And uh, the, the basketball, oh, I, when I, the, the last time I did Letterman, I suggested, hey, it would be really funny if uh, the night you have me on, if you had the basketball coach and the football, have Larry Brown, Larry Brown, Larry Brown. <laughs> they thought that was a good idea. They actually considered it. <laughs> This is a whole evening of Larry Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, your name is really Larry Brown. It is, yes. Yes, I mean, uh, you didn't have to change your name for comedy. I did not, no, but someone threw the bubbles in, and that seemed to stick, and I couldn't, I wanted to get rid of it, I never could. You, you did why, you didn't like it? I think it's kind of annoying, nicknames are kind of stupid, but... Yeah. I guess, you know. Uh, did I ever have a nickname? Well, I had a nickname when I was a kid. Which was oh, really? Bolo. Bo- how'd that come about? Well, because my uh, uh, w- there's a tradition among Jews to name a, your child after a dead relative. <laughs> you know, uh, that, that's, I know that sounds ridiculous, but you do. It's morbid. Uh, mm-hmm. And the only dead relative we had was uh, my brother's, my father's brother who died at 21, and his name was Boleslav. Oh, and okay. his nickname was Bolo. So they didn't want to tag me with that name as a, as a primary name. I mean, Boleslav Schwarzman just wouldn't have worked. <laughs> and, and so what they did is they named me Bennett, Schwarzman, which is Bennett is a very British name, actually. Yeah, I always wondered about that. And then they uh, they they nicknamed me Bolo. So until I was maybe I don't know eight years old, I thought my name was Bolo because it was Bolo this and Bolo that and Bolo don't do that and you know Bolo blah blah blah. So uh, then I found out that my na- real name was Bennett. So then I wanted everybody to call me Ben, which is not really short for Bennett, <laughs> you know. No. So uh, Bolo is kind of a cool name. It, a Bolo it, today, if I use Bolo, uh, it would be, you know, it'd be okay, it'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm really tired today. I I couldn't get to sleep last night. I didn't get to sleep till about 4.30 in the morning after I took, uh, first I took a quarter of a Xanax, and then I took another quarter, and it finally wow, knocked that me, me out. for two days. And so you're hearing me in a very loopy state, you know. Uh, so call, maybe my nickname should be Loopy. Loopy. Well, in school, I, like grade school, my teacher nicknamed me Sleepy because I always looked like I was falling asleep. So. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I'm Sleepy Brown. I, Let's see, how does this work? <laughs> Larry Sleepy Brown. Well, Sleepy Brown. That actually sounds pretty good, Sleepy Brown. Yeah, but you weren't Bubbles till uh, Paula Poundstone, right? Paula Poundstone, 1982, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
and it's because you like to go to the uh, the uh, hot. The oh, there were these hot tubs down the street. I thought I thought I. Uh, wait a minute! We just lost them, folks. Oh boy! Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? And then they ask you whether you uh, how, how it was. Let me let me re. Let's see here. No, Larry is unavailable. Okay, let, we'll try him again. Uh, there we go. I think. Yeah, there. We got a break in the action. Oh boy! I don't know why that happened. That happens only happens with you. Yeah. It's, uh... But you're the only one that I actually physically phone. <laughs> Okay, so I decided last night that you're really right. I'm right. Yeah, you're right in your disdain for technology. I've decided that I I may stop doing this show because it, it, it every night, every day, there is some technical problem I have to deal with, and I am exhausted. And last night I was up till 4.30 in the morning trying to solve a problem which is still unsolved. Because like for you right now I use Skype, but I use another Skype account which I can still sign into. But I have another Skype account we use for the programming. And I completely botched it up and now I am locked out of it. And there's yeah, no. There's, a, there's always a glitch with technology. Yeah, I'm locked That's, out of it for 24 hours. I think for 24 hours. I'm gonna be locked out forever. And uh, it's the one we use for all our other programming. And so I'm up all night trying to solve this problem. And I can't. Then I go lie down to go to sleep, and all I can do is think about this problem and think about this problem. So then I take a Xanax. And it doesn't put me to sleep. So then I take another half of Xanax and it knocks me out. And that's what you're hearing now is a loopy, now you're loopy. knocked out Alex Bennett. No, you're not, not loopy Velez, and, you're loopy Bennett. Yeah, and I've decided that really it's maybe I have to do the following. Just stop doing my shows altogether. Just stop doing them. Because it is just, you know, in my old age, it is driving me to ill health. That <laughs> can happen. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's all because I linked myself into technology at some point in my life, and you didn't. And look how healthy you are. <laughs> look how I don't healthy. know about that. but Look, uh, look, look how healthy. What, what's wrong with you? You have nothing wrong with you except a hernia. You were, you were ahead of the curve with technology. Well, I was a, you know, but it may be the thing that kills me because I, I, I'm thinking to myself, last night I'm trying to go to sleep and I can't go to sleep and I can't go to sleep and I'm going, this is just insane. Why do I do this to myself? You know? Yeah. It's, uh... Uh, you know, I mean, and, and I'm also, I'm getting older, so it's harder for me to solve these problems, you know? And, and and it's just it's it's insane. So I'm 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 going to quit the business. I think I'm going to stop doing these shows. <laughs> I'll keep calling you once a week because I miss you. You but need to stay in touch. Yes, I need to stay in touch. You know, but but uh, you know, I mean, you you don't have to worry about technology. You got a flip phone, and yeah. uh, you don't have high speed internet. I'd like to get off the grid completely. I heard you get so much happier when you do that. Well, the thing is, though, once you get off the grid, you also can't get loans, you can't get money, you can't get credit cards, you can't get anything. You know, because you have no identity. But, so we'd have to live like Ted Kaczynski. I mean, if you go off the grid, I mean, how? if, for instance, tomorrow you decide to go off the grid, how would you do it? I guess you'd have to cut that oh their phone line and their see I wouldn't have to cut off that much stuff. You've got much more. Well, I you know, I could just completely shut down everything. Get rid of your T V. Get rid of the T V, right? You know. What and then spend the rest of my life bored? <laughs> yeah, you would get bored, so uh 
Yeah, I mean, but your life isn't exactly exciting, is it? No, it's very boring. Uh, how boring is it? I mean, it, 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 I mean, you say it's boring, but I have a funny feeling it's less than boring. Well, it used to. It used to be. You had a be in a comic, you have a social scene where you go to clubs and see a bunch of your friends, and that. With the pandemic, that dried up for a couple of years. That's slowly coming back. But yeah, you kind of liked the pandemic, didn't you? Uh, n- well, I didn't like being locked down. No, but uh, I missed I missed the uh, social scene of uh, comedy. But yeah, so you're a social person. Yeah, very uh, very superficial, but I am social. What do you mean superficial? I don't get into deep relationships, but I have a lot of uh, you know. Confidants and people I like to run into and talk for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish I were strong enough to be uh, like a total loner, but... Uh... God, you know, I- I- you think about Ted Kaczynski. Uh, and we he, think he of was him. probably a true genius. Uh, probably, yes. I think he was right. I mean, you know, when he started blowing people up, maybe that was a little extreme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a little off. The that was shoulder. taking it a little too far, but he had a manifesto. The people said, "Oh, it rambled on, it rambled on." But if you if you you know drilled down into his manifesto, he was right about a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. He was, he felt that the technology that we were involving ourselves in was not good for us. You know. And that it was going to be bad for us. So, uh, you know, he may have been right. Yeah. You know. Um, I, I just, uh, I'm amazed at, uh, uh, at uh, uh, how much I'm beginning to agree with Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> the only thing that, you know, that, that I lack are, are explosive devices. <laughs> you know. I mean, he, he just took it a little too far. If he just decided to go up into the hills and just live alone in that shabby cabin, you know, and... and Yeah, he should have done that. And yeah. opt out of society, that would have been fine. But he decided that he was going to start blowing up these things, too, you know. And so he became a a pariah. But, he, but there's a lot... You know, I think somebody write, should write a book called... There's a lot to be learned from Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> you know, the guy wasn't exactly off his rocker. That'd be a real Ted talk. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you could become Ted Kaczynski, couldn't you? I think so, yeah. I mean, could you could you stand to get yourself a shabby home in the woods? That does have some kind of appeal to me, yeah. I always had a desire... To live in the country, up in the woods, up in nowhere, and have this what I call my mountain laboratory, right? Mm-hmm. And and have this house out in the middle of nowhere. But once you go into it, every modern device you would want to have would be in that house. It would be a very technologically uh, advanced house. Okay. Does that sound like fun? Yeah, that'd be fun. You know, so that you could sit there, but then I then I start having all these problems. Oh God, the internet's out. Oh God, this is happening. Oh God, you know, I got locked out of Skype. You know. Yeah. And by the way, here's a terrible thing. If I I, I was looking online, I said, where can I get a hold of somebody at Skype to just say I've got this problem? Can you solve it for me? Nowhere. There's no... Nowhere. No, there's no no uh, personal help in, in there, the technological world. There's nobody you can call to say, hey, listen, I've been locked out of my account. Can you kind of flip a switch and unlock me? Okay? No, I've got to wait 24 hours. 24 hours. It says, you cannot be turned on till tomorrow. Well, when's tomorrow? <laughs> you know... I mean, and I need it now. Yeah. I don't need it tomorrow. I want somebody I can call up and they go flip a switch. Good. Okay, you're back on again. Okay, you're okay. No, you can't talk to a human being at Skype. No way. 
I've Googled it. Give me a phone number. Give me something. Nothing. You know? And it's yeah. these companies don't want to talk to you anymore. When you deal with your phone company, do you have somebody to talk to? I haven't dealt with them in so long. I used to, I just remember if you had a problem, you would call them and they'd immediately try to sell you something. You couldn't, you know. Yeah, but I mean, but they could fix it for you, right? Uh, they would fix it, yes, if I were having a problem with the phone, but I, it's a landline, so they're pretty solid. Well, if I have a Verizon Fios. When I first got them, I could I could call them. You know, it was annoying. It took forever. And then when you got somebody, they didn't know what they were talking about. But, you know, you could get a hold of these people and talk to them directly. And, and go, geez, you know, all right, we're going to solve the problem here. There's no way to call them anymore. You have to go online, and then if you want to fix your Internet, they go, we'll try and turn it back on, and then the machine will do it. They don't want to talk to you any longer. No, because that requires hiring people. They also, uh, you know, the hardest I, thing to do is to try to cancel a service. <laughs> I pay these people $275 a month. Okay, for all my cable service, my internet, the whole thing. You would think for that kind of money I could talk to a human being. Yeah. But you can't do that. So uh, I, I have to say this, Bubbles, but you're absolutely correct. You're fine. <laughs> you Turned know. out I was right. You're right. I'm with you. Where do I start? Tell me. <laughs> Remember when, uh, and technology has never, it's been so disappointing. Uh, remember when, when TV started, they, the big thing was, oh, this is going to end ignorance. <laughs> this will make people so much smarter. Yeah. And it dumbed us down so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, 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 you know, I always dreamed... When I was a kid, I dreamed of the world of the future. And now I'm living in it, and it's a living hell. You know? It's, it's I, like, what's that movie Chaplin made? It's, it's a, that's the kind of world we're in now. Well, you remember when you would have a, a, a TV phone? Remember that? You'd have a TV yeah. phone. Well, now we all have a TV phone. You know? I, I, except you. Uh, uh, you know, I, I get on my phone and I can just, I can call my wife right now and I can see her. All right. So uh, that, that's come to pass. All these things that, you know, are on the Jetsons. By the way, George Jetson. Remember the Jetsons? Yeah. Uh, George Jetson turns a hundred because his birthday was, I think, something like this week. No, right. <laughs> on the show, they said his birthday was blah, 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 2022. That, that was the Jets, and they had a flying car by then. They had, uh, oh, 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 you know what we never got? You know what we never got? I was promised when I was younger. The household robot. Oh, and, they predicted that? Yeah, the household robot that, you know, wore a little, like, uh, uh, apron. <laughs> Remember the robot yeah. with an apron? Uh, you know, uh, but I mean, all these things, uh, and, and it's kind of come to pass. I mean, I kind of have an, a, a, a robot here. I have something that can turn on my lights on and off by, by just saying, turn it on. You know, I go. They did, they did push the flying car a lot. Yeah. I mean, I go. Echo, turn on office. And then all the lights in my office turn on. Now, that, that's, that's the world of the future, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I often was looking forward to the fact that hopefully that I would live long enough to see this. And now I've lived long enough to see this, <laughs> I, I'm 
kind of sad that I did. You know? So. That's it's very disappointing. It's very disappointing. Uh, and I, I, you know, and as I get older, it's a little harder to deal, for me to deal with the technology because you would think that the technology would have allowed me to have people who could take care of stuff and so on and so forth. And instead, what they've done is they've managed to downsize to where you don't have what they called, in the old days, they had a thing called tech support. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember it. I heard of it. But you would... <laughs> I heard of it. You would call tech support, and you would say, I got something wrong. And they... And they You'd have some like geek that you know that uh, that HP had hired or whatever, and he would sit there for an hour helping you solve your problem. It was never a she; it was usually a he. And uh, uh, it was it was great. You had tech support; they went right there to help you. There's no tech support anymore. Those people don't have jobs any longer. You no. know, it's all done by by you know computers and 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 uh, uh, you know stuff on your phone. And as I say, when I try to do something with FiOS with Verizon FiOS, all I get is I go online and they say, "Well, we'll turn this on and we'll turn this off." And did that work? And didn't that work? And and what have you? And I go, "Geez, Almighty God!" You know. I, I, I'd like to talk to a human being. And finally, I was able the other day with Verizon, Fios, Verizon, whatever, to get a hold of a human being. And the first one I got a hold of was a real dope and didn't even know what they were doing. And then I tried again, and I got this really nice woman who seemed to know what she was doing. And I was just... It was like the heavens opened up, you know, and and I got it. I got a human being who knew what they were talking about. But that they, makes your day because it's so rare. But they don't want to talk to you. They don't want to have anything to do with you. You know, screw you. You know, you're just the customer. And uh, you know, when I in the old days when I say stopped the service. They would send somebody by to pick up the equipment. You don't do that anymore. You have to walk it down the street to UPS and send it back. So, be glad you have that flip phone. Yep. Yeah, and how bad to... And they were going to give you a smartphone too, right? Yeah. And you wouldn't take it. I probably should have taken it. I don't know. Well, I maybe you should have. You know, then we could see you right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be a plus. So. Well, to begin with, we'd have to teach you how to let me see you. Yeah, that would be quite a lot of tu tutorials. Now, you, you seem to think that would be rough, but I don't think it would be rough. You're a smart guy. I think you could. Uh, I don't think so. Really? Yeah, I think I'm like, uh, there's a lot of certain areas I don't grasp well. But you know why? It's your fear of it. It's your yeah. fear that you can't. And the fact is that actually you can. You know? yeah, I don't like to try anything new. It's always been... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Well, it's amazing. Amazing you don't like to, to have anything new, but... That's our bubbles, you know. We wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, admire you if you weren't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, my I, charm. Well, I have a feeling you just don't want to get into technology because you feel it would ruin your, 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 uh, uh, whatever, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a analog man, so. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I, 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 it, you have an analog phone, right? It's not digital. Yeah, so I remember the. Uh, you know when I started comedy, I think I was the first year of the personal. They had a personal computer that came out. It kind of flopped. Had a big fanfare about that, and then uh, 
computers didn't really catch on until they got the internet. That's right. when they went crazy. Right. Yeah. But you could, like, when I write you uh, an email, you write me back. Yes, I can. I like the email. And you ha get to hear that sound when you sign on. Of <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have speakers, so I used to hear that. Yeah, it was so annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, we've run out of time, my friend. Yes, the sands of time. It's another <laughs> another wonderful week spent with Larry Bubbles Brown. Thanks, you got Larry. It. Thanks, Let, Alex. Let's talk to you next week, okay? You got it. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Welcome back uh, to the program here. We got to talk with Bubbles. A little distorted this week. I don't understand why. Well, I'll have to. Um, we'll see what happens next week. Uh, anyway, it's always one thing or another. One technological fire to put out after another. And I also forget how to do things now. I usually do things in a certain order. You know, f turn this on, turn that off, make that go. And I can't. I'm getting the point where I go, wait a minute, which button do I have to push? Uh, I don't remember now. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, well, to hell with it, you know. Anyway, I, uh, uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to, um, oh, wait a minute, I just said admit all. And what happened to all the people that were there? Were they? Oh, there they are. Okay. All right. I wondered what, what Ow. happened there with them uh and uh we'll just to go over to the panel and uh have at it no uh, i have no idea oh man i'm so out of it today again i i, I I'm, I'm forgetting how to do things around here what buts, buttons to push maybe i'm just i shouldn't once i come in here i start doing things like you know what i did during bubbles interview tonight i uh I started, uh, I went and got some woolite and was cleaning the seats over here. Now I shouldn't do that because that kind of makes me not pay attention to what I'm doing, okay? So I don't know, but uh, wait a minute, how do I, what, I, I'm supposed to be able to admit somebody, oh I see, waiting room, wasn't open, <laughs> see? Uh, here we go, here's Alan. Uh, but hello to uh, Josh. Good to see you here, Josh. Uh, good to oh, see God. you here, Mr. Neary. And uh, are we going to see Adrian tonight? Uh, they're watching Minions downstairs. How many times have I seen Minions already? <clears throat> that's the first. That's the first time. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a uh, 19.99 to rent, and we have food from home and everything, popcorn from home from from uh, Costco. Good. So instead of paying a hundred dollars, it's like, yeah, it sounds, sounds good. Sounds like fun. <clears throat> you know what I watched today? It's on. Uh, any of you get Hulu? Any of you have Hulu? Yeah. Uh, uh, there's no. a, a film from 20th Century Fox that they released on Hulu instead of in the theaters, and it may be one of the best films of the year. Really? Uh, it's called oh. Prey, and it is well, we could call it a sequel to Predator because it's another Predator film, but it's really like a prequel and it takes place 300 years ago in 1719 uh, on, you know, where Indians, there are a bunch of Indians living there and this one female Indian comes upon the Predator. Oh. And it, it, it's, very, it's a terrific film. It is just, um, some people on Rotten Tomatoes have referred to it as a masterpiece. Really? Yeah, yeah, you don't hear that kind of language. Be it's called called prey. Uh, probably P R P R E Y, right? Not P R A Y. No P R E Y. No, not okay. eat, pray, love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it, it, it. And I, I would suggest you not have Adrian around watching it. No, but the kids like the Predator stuff, so that's good. Oh, have they seen the Predator films? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And then you can. Then this one. Uh, this one is just a it, somebody said this is what the sequel should have been you know and it's that good and it's that terrific and I, I suggest it as for Minions 
I have a copy of it sitting around here, but I can't bring myself to watch it. Yeah, and I have ten Jewish men together. No, no yes, so the minion is ten Jewish men. Uh, yeah, it was it was tough for me to watch the first half hour. I said, "Oh, I got to go on the show." Sorry, guys. Oh, so. Okay, good. We had. <laughs> uh, thank God, I gave you an excuse. Yeah, even if you weren't on tonight, that's still an excuse. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you though, you know, people like, you know, I one of the people that I uh, think the world of, and that I uh, think wonderful things of and it, uh, it, it go along with his opinion is uh, Stephen Kravitz. And uh, Kravitz the other day told me that he was going to see the Minions movie. He was actually going to go to a theater to see the Minions movie. And I went... Kravitz is... I, I'm, I'm listening to the old, the old Alex Bennett shows and there's one that he's on. Uh, I listened to that one this morning on the way to Lodi. I mean, How many very... of these shows is this person putting up? I don't know, but he's been putting them on this last month too. So, but yeah, he uh, actually Stephen Kravitz was really, really good. I, I, it's I, on. I, it, it's on did... YouTube under Alex Bennett Live 105. That's what I search. Yep. And that's what comes up. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw some of them and I went, you know, I mean, uh, I am kind of getting ripped off. You know. Yeah, it, yeah. It's sort of hard to follow. it's sort of hard to follow a little bit because um, because there's there's they they have some that are in a row and there are some the dates he has some of the dates on there and you don't know who's on uh, you know so but uh, Sue Murphy was on the one I was listening to on the way home uh, with uh, uh, Renee Hicks Renee Hicks yeah so, so there so there uh, yeah then yeah so those two were really really good too and yeah they, I. Remember the other night you were talking about people you've interviewed, and listening to all those people that you've interviewed is, is mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so I'm. I'm I had, hmm? What? Uh, so I had one question for you. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of a quiz. So, so who did you interview? Oh, no. Adrian, no. She doesn't like I the movie did. either. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, 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 so you interviewed a very famous person. Yeah. And Matt Weinholtz was there, yeah. and Brian Copeland were the comedians on the show, and Matt dressed up as Batman, and you 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 said he was the the Dork Knight. I said the Dark Knight. Yeah. So so do you know who you were interviewing? Do you remember who you were interviewing? Matt Weinholtz was dressed up as Batman. What was it? Adam West? No. No. Okay. Let me think oh. here. Got to figure out why he would have put on a Batman outfit. Uh, and it wasn't uh, it wasn't it, it was Michael Keaton because I didn't have him on. No. So I'll give you a couple of hints. It wasn't a Batman, and you said he's probably one of the nicest guys you've interviewed. And I agree after the interview, he's really really nice guy. <sighs> I don't even remember. I can't I can't remember what button to push here anymore. And I also can't remember my career. That's that's the bad sure. part of it. It was a uh, Christopher Reeve. Oh, you know, wow. he was the worst person I ever interviewed. He was a terrible human being. No, he was very good on your show. You, yeah, the interview was really good. He came he, in. He came he in. His his no. uh, his assistant, right, got the wrong address, mm. so he was late. Mm. And he comes in, and he is in front of my studio audience, yelling and screaming at her and berating her. Oh my God. And and uh, I I looked at, I looked at Lori who was there and I went what the hell is going on here you know I mean hmm. this is not a, he it, I, he was not a nice person really yeah he, in the interview he, it sounded very different because so you it, played out very well well if you were if it were a nice person uh, he wouldn't have been doing this in front of the studio audience right. you know berating right. his assistant. And he, right. he was berating her for something that was, you know, hey, she made a mistake. She got the wrong address. They they got there a little late. No big deal. You know, yeah. I've got a four-hour radio show. Show up when you can, you know? Yeah. So. I, I, uh, hmm? I caught Wednesday uh, night show. Uh, I was listening earlier, and I just wanted to let you know that uh, – you guys got the wig and the Tory philosophies mixed up there. I got them. I got them reversed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Explain it. Explain straight. it. The the 
Uh, Tory was a supporter of the the crown, the, the traditional okay. monarchy. Okay, all you know? right. And the wig, not for revolution, so to speak, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, you know, your wig or patriot philosophy would have favored uh, independence, a break from monarchy, break from the crown. Oh, okay. That kind all of, right. That all whole right. thing. And uh, and and uh, <laughs> but uh, I guess the so I mean so the Tories didn't last that long, did they? Well, they left for the duration of the war, and then after that, they were pretty much, uh, you know, okay. they were pretty much wiped out. So what, I mean, replaced, they didn't, what replaced the Tories as the other party? I mean, uh, immediately, not really anything that would be much similar to them because they were not really for the system of government that we set up. I mean, they were they were fine with staying with the monarchy. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really know that there sort of is one i mean perhaps you might try to make a, an argument for the you know for sort of jefferson's type of party but n n not really i mean really nothing i well, mean the, it, the republican just, party didn't come into being till about 1850s right yeah i don't remember the exact I think date it was 18, but I mean, maybe 1848 and the first, Something like that, yeah. The first, but, you uh, know, the first, Jefferson's... The first presidential nominee for the Republicans, I think, was John C. Fremont. Am I right uh, or am I wrong? Be, yeah, I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, Jefferson's Jefferson's party sort of evolved as just like an anti-federalist party uh, that was just more for a decentralized government. But they're really nothing. I mean, the Tory philosophy and the Tory... Uh, you know, population really just sort of disappeared, and the ones that didn't leave or were not, you know, basically forcefully uh, evicted, um, you know, the ones that did remain chose various political paths after the new government was set up. Yeah. Uh, not all of them chose the same because once the new government was set up, you know, they began their path to diverging their politics, whether they favored a really large and powerful central government. Or a really small and weak central government. Well, you, and not everybody yeah. not everybody chose it the same just because they had been a Tory before. Yeah, well, the thing I was amazed by with the discussion that we have on a little private thing uh, was when you were talking about how really terrible those times were, that it wasn't like it was an easy deal making up the Constitution. No, it was or, terrible. Or, and they were, people were getting losing their property and their homes and I mean, it was oh, yeah. it was ugly. Yeah, most most of your Tories were uh, they either fled the country, a lot of them went to Canada, a lot of them went to back to England, Great Britain, whatever you want to call it, and um, the ones that stayed, you know, survived, but had their their property confiscated, their their homes burned, whatever. Um, and some of them were just outright murdered or massacred. And you um, think it's bad. And they in turn murdered and massacred yeah. patriots. So, yeah. you know. And you think, I mean, it was you think it's bad now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was terrible. I mean, you know, Tory, Tory militia in the Carolinas, especially South Carolina, after Yorktown even, was, was as heated as it had almost ever been. Wow. Um, and there for about eight or ten months, I mean, the countryside in the Carolinas uh, mm -hmm. was just re wreaked with havoc. I mean, yeah. it was it was yeah. one one bad day after another. So, yeah, the the I don't know what you want to call it, but sort of the the period between victory mm -hmm. and I wouldn't consider Yorktown victory. Let's go maybe about a year later when the peace treaty was signed, the period between that. And the Constitutional Convention of 1787 was a really, really dark time. The violence died down after about a year. Mm -hmm. uh, it did not disappear, but it died way, way down, way down um, after about a year after Yorktown. But the economic mm -hmm. and the governmental crisis existed right up, and that's why the Constitutional Convention was necessary. That's what made it happen. It was a very, very, very dark time in American yeah. history. Where, where is it? Hey, where, Alan, where are you? I had to go to a bathroom break real quick. I'm, I'm oh, back. Oh, what are you doing? Peeing in the studio? <laughs> uh, no, I'm eating the toilet. Oh, How okay. unusual. All right. All right. Okay. I, I didn't want to interrupt Josh just to say I'll be right back, so I just blocked. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, 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 Kevin? Yeah? What are you doing there? What did, what, what are you, what's your... 
Uh, I'm just doing my mail. You... Mail. We got mail. Yeah. Letters. Oh, yeah. we got letters. Letters. He's in his office and he's doing office stuff. What can I say? Well, yeah, I'm just. So anyway, um, I'm pissed off today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. My uh, my my receiver took a dump today. So. Your your what? My receiver for my TV took a dump today. Oh no. Your receiver. That's just that's just like cutting off the internet to me. What do you mean the receiver to the TV? Yeah, my my receiver for the sur sound surround sound and all that. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Controls everything. Oh, yeah, the audio. The audio visual receiver, yes. Oh, and it just blew. Yeah, I think the chip went bad in it. I tore it open and checked all kinds of stuff today, and YouTubed everything that could have gone wrong with it, and nothing fixed it. So yeah, yeah, I think it's done. Well, go down to Costco and get a cheap one. Yeah, a couple of hundred bucks, you're in with a new, beautiful, you know, receiver. Yeah, it's probably gonna cost me about six or seven. You know what I got? What I replaced all my receivers with. Uh, is I went and got a sound, one of these sound bars. Mm -hmm. I got one for each TV set, and this the, I got a the good one I got was who makes it? Uh, but blah, 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 blah. now I'm, I forget. Uh, but it's really good. The surround sound on it is terrific, and uh, uh, the audio is wonderful on it. You know. I had one, but I ended up buying a bunch of floor to you know floor speakers and putting surround stuff all over the walls and shit yeah but you know something i had that like that i had uh, these like uh, what are those what's the company that made those little little speakers actually that were just very powerful and uh we had them all over the place and uh i replaced those with this and this is better sounding you know yeah i had um the hell was it it was like when the sound bars first started coming out it cost me about 1200 bucks i think Mm -hmm. And it oh, it was a Yamaha. Yeah, I still have it, but it weighed a ton, and it had like eighty speakers in the damn thing, and it had surround and everything in it. And it, it sounded really good, but you had to turn it way up loud to get it to actually sound like it was doing anything. Yeah. and it had to have a certain kind of room, and it had to bounce off the walls because it would throw you know sound out the side of it and the back of it, and it would bounce off the walls. But my room. I had to swap it, so I got one open wall, and the you know the sound goes all the way into the kitchen before it comes back in. And is, yeah, so I, I, I can't remember what the what the sound bars <clears throat> were, were that I bought though, but they're very very good. Yeah, they sound good nowadays. But yeah, I already yeah, got I all those other shit, so I ain't gonna I ain't gonna sell all that just to. Who, who makes them? Me. Anybody know what I'm thinking of? Because my mind is uh, it's trash. I know what you're talking about. I just don't know what brand you bought. Yeah, that's Samsung or the Samsung. No, no. Oak? Huh? No. The Carmen Harden? No. Bose. Keep you going. Did Bose Marantz. Bose. Huh? Marantz? No, no. Wait a minute. It's it's uh, oh, uh, oh boy. Let me uh, here. I not Bose. No, no. no. Bose over those speakers that I had. You know. Uh, let me see here. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just uh, go up and say sound bars, and then I can. Um, uh, I'll, I'll uh, something will come up. Okay, <coughs> sound bars. Uh, dee, 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 dee. Not sure. Not sure, Kevin. Not Samsung. Not Polk. Vizio. Vizio. There you go. Got the Vizio. That's a TV too. Yeah, and it's very. Uh, they were. They're great. They're just great. What does your shirt say, Kevin? I can't read it. It's, it's our uh, West Coast custom shirt. Oh, our gang. Cool. Our gang. Nice. Yeah. I had a, you know, you talk about sound bars and stuff like that when Kevin brought up all this money. I have a friend of mine that's a radiologist. He's retired and mm -hmm. Jewish. And he spent $200,000 on a uh, home theater. You know, the TV comes out of the ceiling, all that kind of stuff. We go, when I was down there one time in Long Beach, we go shopping for a computer. Guy makes, you know, $750,000 a year. He wants to go get the four hundred dollar all you can do computer. <laughs> Some people he's Jewish. What do you expect? He has a party that weekend. He says, "Wait, mean a four hundred dollar all you can do computer? That a four hundred dollar computer isn't all you can do." Right, right. That was my point. And then he's going to have a party that weekend. Entertain yeah. 
instead of having it hosted, he's going to do the barbecuing, which means the steaks are all going to come well done. Mm-hmm. He he has me go get steaks and cuts out a coupon so I can get 50 cents off a pound. Really? I just don't understand these people. Well, he's Jewish. That I guess that explains a lot. I don't well, know. Now, it's okay for him to say that because he's Jewish. Okay. And right. it's okay for me to agree with him because I'm Jewish. Right. Anybody else? Nobody else here is Jewish, so. No, not that we know of. N- Brian, you forgot to put your tooth in. See, he put his tooth in. See? Yeah, it looks good. Looking good. Is that your permanent one or temporary? No, it's, it's, uh, no not yet. That's the clipper, right? Yeah, I still got a couple months, I think. Yeah. They won't. I, I'm, I'm telling you that they will not give you. Who get you? It's very hard to get a dentist to give you a clipper. Because it's one of the front teeth, they said. Because if it's a back one, they don't care. But the front ones. Yeah. Well, I mean, I love the clipper. I just, you know, it just goes <laughs> clunk. And sometimes you forget to take it out when you go to sleep. No, I forget to put it in. <laughs> you forget to put it in. And then I'm afraid. Like, I put it down. The cat came over. And he started playing with it. I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't take that and hide it. I have the worst fear that I'm going to, like, have to lose a front tooth or something. Oh yeah. You know, and then I'm then I, then I'm gonna have to vote for Trump. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's a twice, it, three times. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, that's why I think you know I've been arguing for the longest time that yeah we we go for we want single payer health plan. Okay, we'd like to have the government pay for your uh, medical. It it. it it would make for a healthier country, all right? But I think they should take care of dental because think of this for a moment. Let's say you, you can't afford it, all right, Brian? But you lose your front tooth and you can't afford to replace it. You're too poor to do that. I know you can't imagine that, but let's for a moment play theater here. Uh, how are you gonna get a job? You walk in missing a tooth. Do you think somebody's going to hire you? Yeah. Yeah. I they're, I know somebody who's a, in a very, very high position mm-hmm. at one of the factories that they go to. Mm-hmm. And he's been missing the bottom tooth right here, like, for a long time. And, yeah, that makes a lot more than I do. <laughs> but, you know, you might be diabetic and doing a, a transplant might involve chance of infection or something no yeah, but all I'm, all I'm saying what, what were you disagreeing with me Kevin about that about if, how are you going to get a job if you're missing a front tooth well it depends on where you go I guess yeah but right. I mean you know you're going to have a hard time people will look if yeah well you look at some of the people with tattoos and everything else nowadays I mean yeah yeah depends but, on where you go but missing a tooth carries with it a certain well, other these people look like they fell face first into a tackle box and they get a job oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah those pictures what a vision yeah yeah Funny. i don't understand it uh by the way it was amazing how few people were listening to us now it's picking up yeah i, I noticed that too it's, that's bizarre to bring and, Phil Meyer and nobody is doing the chat tonight no chat tonight at all yeah right? Weird. Is there some no kind Charlie? of game on or some? Oh, no, it's no, just a Friday night. I is it? Know. Is it like free blowjob night somewhere <laughs> that we don't know oh, about? Oh, that's right. I got to go. Sounds good. <laughs> is it expire at midnight? Yeah, it expires at midnight. Okay. Look, uh, this, is your, this is your thing. No, no, don't do that. A, but put it down. That's, there. A, that's a bra. No, she has a bra. Oh, she has a bra. Oh. No. Yeah, she has a bronze, but that's the opening. <laughs> that's the ad to get to your show. Is it really? Yeah, skip the ad, and now you guys are on. Why? Yeah. Why bra? I don't know. Some I don't know. You made me turn it off. It's YouTube. It, it was some ad. It was some ad for lingerie. It's YouTube. You you got to see the uh, for the free YouTube. You got to see the commercials once in a while. Yeah, the yeah. Lingerie stuff. Do you is does that annoy you or and should I do away with it? No, well, it lasts five like seconds. Everything else. Huh? Well, the last five seconds and you kill it. Yeah, everything has ads. It's okay. Yeah, I guess you can do it after five seconds. I subscribe to YouTube so that I can get, uh, so I don't have to watch commercials. I, I, because I watch so much YouTube that it be, would become overly annoying to me. Just like Tony. 
And that's when I turn off sometimes. When I when I start watching something mm-hmm. and the commercial uh, it says ad coming, I usually then I'll switch to something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so didn't... Alex Jones got away with shit, well, didn't we're, he? We'll get to that in a second. What were you going to say, Tony? He was going to. I was something. just listening to you talk about the dentist, Alex, and I got to tell you something that infuriated me before my mother passed away. My mother, what you call the dentist that we've been going to, me and her. For years, I still go to the who did my braces. Mm-hmm. When my mother went to Medicare, we you know she got the coverage. You know he wouldn't take that dental coverage anymore. When she when she got when she got retired from uh, A and S, some doctors some doctors won't take Medicare. And, yeah, right. man, and what I like, say to doctors who won't take Medicare is, you know, Alex, you know what I told them? I said my mother's been going here for twenty years. I says now she has to stop going. I said because you can't take that. He yep. said, well, you can get the plan. That, so I had to take it, not that I care. So I got her the same plan that I had to pay monthly that I was paying under her name. Mm-hmm. So that she, she well, I'm not going to not uh, you know, give up the dentist. But, you know, I'm just pissed off at this guy. Says, All the money she's been throwing this guy, right? Yeah. He should have took it. Well, uh, to begin with, dental insurance for the most part is bullshit. Yeah. Because to begin with, you pay how many dollars a month for it? Let's say you pay 30 bucks, 40 bucks a month for it. 60 a month. 60 a month? Higher. Okay. Yeah. Higher. Yep. Okay, so that's like $700, $800 a year. <clears throat> okay, then on top of that, you've got a, uh, you have to meet a, 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 a minimum. Minimum. Okay, Deductible. so then mm-hmm. you, then after that, that, they pay out 50% maybe up to $1,500. What, you know, you're already paying out $800 a year for the goddamn thing. You should get more than $1,500 worth of insurance. You know, they just don't want to lose, do they? And you know what? I was mad at God rest the soul, Alex. I'm not trying to make a joke of it, but she never even got to use the dental insurance we were paying for because of the pandemic. So I was paying for it for the year we were in the house because they were closed to dentists and she passed away. She never even got to get a cleaning. So I threw them like seven, eight hundred bucks. Well, you probably, but you probably should have done this. Just a suggestion, Tony. Is you yeah. shouldn't have buried her. You should have waited for the <laughs> pandemic to be over with. And, and wheel her in your dentist. And wheel her <laughs> into the dentist and have him do her teeth. Before you embalm her, I want you to clean the teeth. <laughs> She's got a cavity. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're so mad. But when you said that, I yeah. said, he's right. Yeah. Now, that's, a, that's a racket. Now, uh, Kevin brought up the name that should not be spoken yeah. anywhere, and that's Alex Jones. I hate him. Uh, huh? I hate that guy. I really do. Well, I mean, uh, he was in the news today. Yep. What? Well, well, it was state what you were going to say, Kevin. No, yeah. I was just saying that he got away with shit. You know, four million dollars is worth what two hundred and sixty? Well, no, no, he didn't get uh, away no, with four million dollars. That's no. the four cases. Though. No, that was yeah. that was the. Oh, uh, that was for the one lady. No, no, yeah, that no, was for know. a uh, a payout of some sort or another on the actual charge. Okay. Then there were the punitive j- damages right. for I, each of the I, people yeah. who are suing him. Right. So yep. the first one today got what? Forty million? She got a lot. Forty-five million. Forty-five million. 45 million. 45 million? Wow. That's only the first one. There's still the yeah. others coming up. Oh, that's good to know. I. That's why I called Gabnet to get all the right information. Well, that is actually. Well, you should have called Phil. Yeah. No, no, uh, but yeah. no. He gets it from Don't TikTok. Don't say his name. He'll he'll call on Tuesday and misinform us. Yeah, no, but here's the thing that that's that's so you know that's uh, uh, he has about 160 million dollars to his name. Well, they were and, showing what four, five, six, seven companies of his, eight companies of his. Yeah, yeah. Even when he was, they say when he was hiding it all over the place. Didn't they say when he was taken off the air on all the different platforms he still made four million dollars that month yeah how does he make this money i guess people subscribe to him huh he's selling his his dog people protein meal yes he doesn't he have erection pills too yeah yeah he has has hard on pills Um, but no that that was what happened he didn't he's not getting away with it i I thought i thought I thought so too initially, and then today they said, "Oh well, just this one family, mm-hmm. one family, got forty million. million." Now, how question, many more families do we have? Oh, more families, families waiting to lay lawsuits. I don't know, but uh, but I don't think anybody's going to see any of that money. 
somehow he mm. will well to begin with he'll he'll appeal it he'll trump it and then he'll he'll weasel it down you know and mm. uh uh but he's admitted he did it and he admitted he was wrong and that <laughs> blah 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 you know but none of that helped well, he, he should be doing this from a jail cell so if you're somebody who makes 150 million dollars off people like that you know, he well, can laugh I, it off. Well, I think I think that it is justice if he has to unload all this money, because you know he made all this money off of a lie, and the lie was hurting those families. Yep. And, and you know, um, he should be ashamed to have the name Alex. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But what did you think of it? Did you pay any attention to it, Josh? You know, not too much. I don't really follow the trial or anything. I don't know a lot of specifics about it. I mean, I sort of, I mean, I know what they sued him for, but I did see the headline uh, when my Washington Post page refreshed earlier that said, you know, that his punitive damage had been awarded like 40 or, you know, whatever million dollars, which is, uh, you know, that's good. I mean, you know, if he's, if, uh, you know, he got beat, I mean, that's what he deserves. I mean, you know, this, this is, misinformation spreader and i mean you know i think that uh i mean i'd love to see him bankrupt you know personally i mean off the air i mean you know he's, he's just you know it's it's I, I don't know why why anybody on the or, or any conservatives or anything i don't know why people align themselves why are they going down this path well, you know of something i trust really people? i don't know if i were a conservative you know, and uh, and I know what a conservative is. I mean, our friend Patrick is a conservative, you know, but he wouldn't go along with an Alex Jones. Yeah, it's I mean, not, it's not a cons it shouldn't be considered a conservative stance because yeah, but, conservatives, true conservatives are better than that. But why know? are so many of them doing it? I mean, I don't know that I really have an answer. I mean, you know, because it just makes me think about, and we, we could talk more about this too, but, you know, along with the baseball game on the night, I, I had C-SPAN on one of the televisions and it was a live coverage from the CPAC conference or whatever. And they're being addressed this big, long speech by Steve Bannon. I mean, and they're all smiles and standing ovations and glad handling. I mean, he's, he's, Bill? he's a fucking convicted criminal now, isn't he? Isn't he awaiting his sentence? I mean, why are they even inviting him to speak for one? Mm -hmm. And, and two, I mean, he was welcomed. I mean, he's getting standing ovations and hugs and thumbs I mean, up and fist bumps and high. I mean, what? Why are they aligning themselves with someone who's well because going to they're, because they're not conservatives. That's the point I'm trying to make here. Right. They're, you they're know, the Republican conservative, Party conservatives are are much more moral than these people are. <laughs> they're not. Course. They are some other breed, and I don't know that we could call them conservatives, but. You know. certainly can't. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm just saying that here's a bunch of people in a room. I mean, room. is Trump a conservative? What? No. 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 But what are his politics? Yeah. They're personal, I would have, as well, the way I would describe them. If it benefits him, it's okay. Yeah. I would imagine, yeah. yeah. You know, and, you know, the, the politics of his hardcore followers are mostly, I mean, at least the ones that serve in government, you know, their politics are the politics of power because they know that the people or some of his hardcore people are supporting some of the crazy things that he says and, and they continue to echo his craziness because, you know, they want those votes. Yeah, but I can't, I can't um, imagine any real conservative. And I'm saying, a, you know what a conservative is, I know what a conservative is, that any true conservative would be as cruel as to go along with Alex Jones, a I, true conservative. I don't hardly know how anybody is, but I mean, but he obviously mm -hmm. has a lot of followers. I mean, I, you know, I don't get it. I mean, you know, this, like I said, the Steve Bannon one is just so confusing to me because I just can't, I can't understand how they allow some convicted criminal to come address their conference on conservative values. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's okay. I mean, what is, is who's, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, Trump is speaking to him tomorrow, I mean, which is one thing, but 
I wouldn't doubt if they've got Michael Flynn or somebody coming to talk to him. I mean, you know, some other fucking, you know, low life traitor. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, I just don't understand. I, I don't get get this anymore. I mean, it, I don't know when it's going to fade or what it's going to take to change. Well, again, it, you know, today, today I'm a member of that party. I don't run in their inner circle, but I, I just don't know that I have any explanation for it. Today I was talking again to my friend who was going to be on the show next week, by the way. I'm probably going to run him on Friday. I'm interviewing him earlier in the week, and that's uh, uh, the uh, it's, it's David Patterson, who's the former governor of the state of New York. And we were both talk, just saying how terrible things are out there. That the, 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 What represents itself to be the right wing is... I said, it's getting to the point where if you find out that somebody's a right winger, you don't want to talk to them anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, that was never the case. I had people with differing politics than me. There were people who were Republicans and I was still good friends with them. You know, but all that's changed because the contention that has been created in this country, he said, it's just horrible, you know. And uh, so, uh, but well, he's yeah, going mean, to be like on I said, next I, week. We'll talk about. I it. listened to a little bit of it tonight. I mean, and like I said, Steve Bannon. I mean, he's he's on the stage, and he's given this fiery speech about the dis, you know how how we need to be uh, having a destruction of the administrative state. I mean, what what is that even? You know, and then he's all like, and all of you know what that is, and what I'm talking about. And I'm sitting here thinking. Well, it must be some secret they share amongst each other because yeah. I don't have any. They have little code what, signals. What is he talking about? I mean, what is that? I don't. I mean, I just you know, like gone are the days where you could just have two people, and one of them say, "Well, I think that we should have a tax on this to pay for this, this, and this," and mm -hmm. the other person saying, "No, I don't think we should have a tax to pay for that because that would cause this, this, and this." And here's how I think we should solve that problem. Mm -hmm. So two people agreeing that there's a problem, and they have two different ideas on how to fix the problem. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. But I don't know how we got from that to, you know, let's go into the Capitol and, well, do you and know, this assassinate is the, the vice yeah. president of the United States and <clears throat> take over our government. This is the, and and uh, no one had a pro okay, problem Okay, this with is it. the only country in the civilized world, okay, where uh, there is a, where the, the uh, climate change belief is separated between left and right. Okay, the le the left believes that there are climate change problems. The left the right believes there aren't. In mm -hmm. other countries, the right and the left both agree that there's a climate change problem. Mm -hmm. You know, so I yeah, mean, you mean you, you have that divide here? I mean, I, I I don't, I just don't know why any of these folks, and there are folks on the left that exploit the same sort of sentiments. On yeah. different issues. I yeah. don't know why everyone is now so interested in pressing to the to the forefront issues that they know overheat people and force them to divide against each but other. But these I mean, these right wingers do not believe there's a climate change problem. But if you go to England, right wingers believe there is a climate change yeah. problem. And it's the one thing the right and the left, the conservatives and the liberals, agree agree on. You right. Know? Uh, I mean, uh, I think there's a pretty decent chance that you've got some people, especially in the government, that actually probably know that what they're doing and saying is wrong and just don't don't care. I mean, because, you know, they they can't deny certain facts. I mean, even if you don't believe that it's happening, I mean, there's obviously I've made this point before. There's obviously some changes happening. And even if you don't believe that it is what it is, then just find a way to so what's wrong with taking care of the earth i mean yeah, well, i mean I, there, there's no are, negative from yeah, that yeah i mean there are certain things that we just we should all agree on because they're 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 immutable you know i but mean but i just i don't i don't get the exploitation of of things that are just you know like you know making it sound like recycling is not manly or something like i mean what, so I'm like not as much as a man as you are because I threw my aluminum yeah. can in a fucking recycling well, let me give, bin? Let me give you, know you an example. I mean? Like, let, let's let's uh, ask a moron this question. Tony? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. T Tony, uh, do you believe there's cl uh, global warming? Actually, I never... 
I don't want you to get mad. I really can care less about global warming. I'm being honest, really. I'm being honest. Ask him in the winter time when he's buried in the snow. Oh, that's that's the reason I called you a moron. I, I knew you were going to lie. Okay, it's not like I was insulting you. No, I'm, I'm not, saying I'm that not when we want a moronic answer, I will go to the moron in the room. But I'm being honest. I don't mind it at all. I mean, but I, I really never thought about it. Like in school, I never cared, Alex. I really didn't. Well, no, but it didn't question. happen when you were in school. I, but even now, I don't care. I'm more worried about the Wonder Bread and the food being expensive. I mean, ask if I'm not the on that. Yeah, but the ask reason. Him Jan, what? Ask him in January when he's buried in the snow. I get the snowblower. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I'm being honest. I really don't care. It's not like a, a topic that I, that I ever really cared about. I'm being honest. I'm well, not joking. if all of a sudden there were a forest fire in your neighborhood, I think you'd care about it. Then I would care a little bit. Like we would do something yeah. about. I mean, you process. look at you look at California, boy. I mean, is there any inch of California now that hasn't been burnt to the ground? When you lived in San Fran, Alex, you didn't have you didn't have any problems with forests out there. Like you you would have. Problem. You know what you would do? You would have forest fires, and they would let them burn because really? they were part of the ecology. Uh, sometimes natural if, if they had to decide whether a fire was caused by a human mistake or whether it was caused by lightning for instance a natural phenomenon and if it was started by lightning they just let it burn itself out because that's part of the cycle of nature what it would do is it would uh, it, you'd have f fire and then what it would, would do is it would roast the acorns or whatever, or the pine cones that fell off the trees, and they would make new seedlings. And so that was part of the way nature redeemed itself. Now these fires don't exist because of that, you know. Yes. Tony, uh, Tony made your point. Yes. Tony said, when you were in California years ago, you didn't have these fires. You made your point. Yeah, well, I mean, the we The point we, is that the, the problems we're having now are yeah. because of what's happened in the past 20 years or longer. But, but also, I think in the last 40, 30, 40 years, I mean, there's a lot more people that have been building outside of where everybody was before. San Jose, 20, 30 years ago, people were saying, oh my God, you're moving to Pleasanton, which is like a half hour away from here. And say, oh my God, you're moving so far away, and and that's like nothing now. And you look at all these all these other cities that have grown in those areas that there are a lot of fires. A lot of people that live there that didn't live there 20, 30 years ago. Well, these fires are not natural. Okay, these are not a natural phenomenon. And we're having floods. I mean, well, it's part partially because of the drought, and then you got the dry lightning coming in that's natural, and it lights up what's not natural that, that it's not being fed water right 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 yeah. that's oh, yeah. the problem yeah you know i can actually is part on, of he, brian made a good point because i can back up that point a little bit what concerns me here living in queens is remember when uh we had that bad rain and remember biden i don't know if you know biden came to the queens area woodside which is 10 minutes away from here because the house the houses were taking on three four feet of water in the basements all the sewer system in front of this house, my house, when that backed up that night, it came up through the basement, but we only got like an inch. And then once the sewer got caught up with the water, then it came, it went down. But the problem here in Queens is by us, Alex, and I could be wrong, they keep knocking one families down. There's no zoning laws anymore, and they're building two and three families. Like a guy sold a house, he had a house, a plot of land on that corner. He sold it 20 years ago. It was like he had a whole, like a quarter of a block. Now there's like eight eight house like uh, eight apartments. Now we have like an infrastructure. The sewer system is not built for how many people are living here now. See, that's another problem. Like the zoning laws. Why, here do, really do you think? Do you, do you think that uh, the uh, the way in which our our uh, ecology is and so on is dependent upon too many people taking a dump in one building? Well, I think I think the sewer system is not equipped to take X amount of people actually shitting down the toilet because that, that's why well, they're ripping up the I, if i were I mean, you as a good citizen i would go over to that I'm, house and i would tell everybody will they go to the bathroom less well like it like like if you go to long island if it's a one family i got they, you. That's, that's not that's not causing a problem tony i'm telling you queens here alex the zoning laws are off the charts so forget about the zoning laws 
uh, you know, you're just simply flushing something down the drain, okay? You know, it, 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 it should be able to take it. It takes it in our neighborhood, and we, we, we're nothing but apartment houses in this neighborhood. Hello there. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. 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 Yeah, you you're playing mom tonight with the movies? Uh, I don't think she's watching. Oh, oh you yeah, there's only two kids watching the movie now. Yeah. Oh, the movie done. Uh, what did she say? I think that's done. Yeah. Anyway, so I mean, but it, it's you know, I I I think global warming exists. I think that uh, we're seeing the effects of it, the beginning of the effects of it. They're saying if we don't do something about it by 2030, that's pretty much the cutoff date, then it's irretrievable. Hopefully it takes off like <laughs> wildfire in Indiana. They're the first state to just, just uh, vote that all abortions are illegal. Yeah. Yeah. Was that the, even the even if uh, uh, do you know one a woman was asking another woman in the debates that were going on in front of their assembly or whatever uh, the uh, it, the question and it was an interesting one. Uh, well, uh, what about a about a, 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 a oh say a ten year old child who is raped or is is a thing of incest where they get pregnant? Do you think that they should be allowed to have an abortion. And the woman looked at her and in a very cruel way said, no, I don't think so. This is Indiana? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the governor just signed the bill. Well, we can go back to the climate change really quick. So, well, they, so can come, they can come to New York with all the migrants who have been shipped here by Texas. Yeah, Eric Adams is going crazy over it. Yeah, yeah. But I think one thing though, I know there's this irreversible you know, date and all that stuff. But you, you look at when COVID hit and everybody was in lockdown, India, China, all these places that have the worst smog in the world, those areas actually cleared up and they had blue skies. So, I mean, there are things that people can do, but people just go back to their old ways of, you know, driving cars and, and, and over excessive. Things, so. Well, I mean, uh, uh, the reason we're having these, let's be honest, the reason we're having these problems is that Back in the 1800s, we didn't have automobiles. Right. We didn't have uh, uh, carbon-emitting uh, devices. And as mm -hmm. the automobile came in, everybody got automobiles, more and more automobiles, I mean, even more, and even more, uh, you know, carbon emissions. That's only a recent thing that's happened within the last, I'd say, cars didn't really start ramping up till about the 20s, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you're the car guy correct me if i'm wrong and so it took a hundred years to get to a point where i'm sorry it just isn't sustainable right you know that's why we've got to go to electric automobiles because that's the only way to solve the problem uh certainly we i mean i know that you love cars uh uh kevin and i know you love cars brian oh. Uh, who else is here is a big car fan? Yeah, yeah I Jeff is a big car fan. Jeff but I think you would all have to agree that maybe we got to think about going electric. You, you know. Well, uh, from here going forward, yeah. but the old ones ought to stick around. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. you know. I I wouldn't mind getting an electric car. She's got an electric car. I wouldn't mind the daily drivers electric car, but then to have have be able to have you know, yeah. something else. Yeah. Did Jeff? You had your hand up. Yeah, oh, I have a they're good. They're good. They're What were you going to say, Jeff? I said, uh, I have uh, a, a newer car that has a hybrid combination mm -hmm. system. Yeah. And the mileage of the car is like twice as much as it was a, a year ago. What do you get to the gallon? About 38. I get more net. My, we took our trip to Oregon. We put over 2,000 miles on, on the car. And I fought my wife tooth and nail to get in a Prius for, for a week and a half, almost yeah. two weeks. Mm -hmm. But we spent barely just over 200 bucks in fuel the whole time. 2,000 miles. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Anybody else? My here? truck would have been at least 
just about a thousand dollars in fuel load. Does anybody else here have a hybrid or a? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you have a hybrid, and, and my and, wife has one too. And and she has a Prius. And one of yeah, one, and they get about fifty four to a gallon if you're running them. Yeah. You know. One of Brian's cars is is a Tesla, right? That's your wife yeah. drives that. She does. She? Yeah. 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 So that's uh, that's a, a Tesla. Uh, so I mean, you know, I mean, the it, it's just we got to each get a do that, you know, tamp down our carbon footprint. That's all there Doesn't is. Doesn't your to McLaren it. get? Nah, them they're going to take them all the away. They're going to take them all away, just like our guns. They're going to take them all away. Gee, we're down yeah, to twenty I... people watching, by the way. Yeah, my, my friend. I don't, I don't know why that's happening tonight. Yes, my what? friend who's a trumper. My friend who's a trumper said, "Oh, did you see they're going to take your cars away?" Yeah. Hey, by thirty thirty five, no gas cars on the road. Yeah. Yeah. Said, yeah. They're they're taking that with their guns. Yeah. Well, same I'm same sure. Story. I'm sure you will be able to have gas automobiles. Uh, no new ones will be allowed to be produced, but the old ones, of course, they won't tell you you can't. Use them they're even the doing uh brian you probably seen you've seen the f1 electric the yeah. ef1 yeah it's, it's pretty, pretty strange because they make no noise yeah. it's not really exciting mm. what do you mean the f1 electric they have the formula one electric oh you mean yeah. it just go it just goes down the it, they're all electric cars haven't they in some of these electric cars put a false sound in so you feel some kind of mo something motor that. action. It, the motor, the motor just whines. <laughs> and I've heard Lexuses; they sound like they're falling apart sometimes. Yeah, when they're backing up. It sounds really weird. How how does the Tesla sounds weird going backwards? Backwards, yeah, it has a real they weird whine. We yeah, whine. that same thing. But when it's going forward, you have no sound at all. No sound. Yeah, when I took an Uber, Alex, me and my sister to the doctor. Yeah, and it, it was an electric car, Brian again. It made no, it was like so quiet. The dashboard, it looked really, it was nice actually. It was yeah, like, nice. like, yeah. You don't hear anything. They're making things very they're quiet. This nice. new computer I got, this Apple Studio, I never hear it. Mm. I never, ever hear it. Uh, and it doesn't get warm either. You know? Yeah, I think, I think one problem you'll have with uh, electric cars is, you know, you have, there's an economic part of that too. And, uh, you know, being able to charge and a lot of stuff. If you have people living in, you know, high rise, high density places and the, mm -hmm. those things. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Just amazing. Um, and uh, I, I just, you know, I mean, I don't have a car. I haven't had a car for 15 years now. And I know that sounds weird, but I mean, it's weird for me as a California kid not to have a car. You don't but, need one. In New York. Well, I mean, if I let's say. When I first moved here, the first time I lived here, I had a car. And I had to, you know, I had to find a garage to put it in. But garages were like, I paid 35 bucks a month for a garage. You know what a garage, to garage your car costs in, in New York City now? Try $500 a month. Then you got to park it downtown. Yeah, or uptown. Yeah. Or uptown, yeah, whatever. Yeah, if you go, if you take your car and you go to another part of New York and you want to go to a theater or something and you you uh, put your car in a garage how much do you think that costs Those oh, 50 bucks yeah. 50 bucks to park your car yeah. like going to a game yeah what it is is it's like uh, two dollars and fifty cents for the first 15 minutes and then yeah. uh, after that it goes to fifty dollars you yeah. know yeah so, hey, going back to the CPAC thing, I thought Mike Pompeo was uh, jumping the Trump ship. He's like the fifth or sixth speaker on that list. Yeah, they got some very evil people. It's like the axis of evil that's at that. Yeah, it's CPAC like I thought he. I thought he jumped ship, but They've I guess got, not. Uh, Ted, Ted Cruz was there. He said, uh, somebody said he was running for president. Ted Pompeo. Cruz? Pompeo's running for president. Well, I heard that they, there was talk that he was. Why would anybody want to vote for Pompeo? I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. You know. And but he's on the list for speakers. Well, I'm looking at them all. It's all usually the same old. It's the same old freak show. Matt Gates, Rick Scott. Yeah. Why are people shooting up a school of innocent kids? Marjorie. Marjorie, what's her, Marjorie, what's her name? 
Christy, no, no, she's not on there this time. She's probably scared. No, I saw she was there. She was there earlier. She might be there, but she's yeah. not speaking on the list anyway that uh, I see. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Galbert's there. Gabbert. Mm-hmm. Tulsi Gabbert. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shatter G- Grayton's. Marjorie uh, Taylor Green is there. Christy Gnome's there just to look at. Yeah, Christy who? Christy Gnome, you know, yeah, South nice. Dakota or North Dakota, wherever she is over there. No? Really? Yeah. I don't know the woman. She's a good-looking one. Well, there's one yeah. other good-looking one, too. It's well, there's a couple of them, but they're... Well, what she is is she's good-looking until she opens her mouth and spouts her opinions. Yeah, they're all, all still out of sudden, her head. Do you ever notice how women, certain women you find sexy, suddenly melt when they start speaking their their opinions? Yeah. You know? It's like Car- Carmel Fudge. It just Like, what you call it? What's her name on uh, Fox? What's her name? Uh, Kaylee McElhaney. Kaylee uh, you know they used to. You know, you know what we don't have in uh, New York City anymore. Bye bye to O A N. Oh really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they couldn't make a deal. FiO said they couldn't make. Verizon said they couldn't make a deal with them. So they're mm-hmm. off. Which I I kind of bothers me because at seven o'clock every night there was this woman named Stephanie something or another who had the best set of tits I've ever seen on a newswoman. <laughs> Uh, did they have a good newscast, or did you pay attention? To I didn't that? pay attention to it. I was Alex, just, Walter Cronkite with cleavage for you. It's Walter Cronkite with cleavage, right? He's stupid, but I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I like the racist when you were dating that racist lady. It's kicked her out of the car. That's a good story, remember? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, there's, oh, there's only so far I'll go. I'll, only so many compromises I will make to get laid. You had a little checklist. You gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go. But it's, uh, you know, just a strange time we're living in, and it's just so yeah. ugly, and it's just not right, you know? I think the Republican Party has turned into a cult. You know, you're right. I mean, mm. uh, and I would feel very uncomfortable being a Republican. That's why there's this third party starting up, the forward party, which who knows what they will do or whether they will be able to make noise. There's always people who've started to try third parties. Uh, what's his name did a few years back? Uh, oh, yeah. You remember? What, I, now I can't even remember his name. Yeah, he ran for president even though. Yeah, he and, he, and he was doing pretty well. It's the reason why Clinton won is because he so divided everything mm-hmm. up that Clinton won. Yeah, Perot. Huh? Perot. Perot. Yeah. Perot. 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 Yeah, but the Perot. forward party is more of a uh, progressive, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so... Uh, it may uh, be, nothing maybe. to do with the Republicans. Yeah, um, they're the ones that need to start a new party. Well, I I tend to agree. Uh, the real Republicans. I was talking with Josh about this the other day. And we don't have time to get into it now, but I I really agree with those people who believe that the two party the 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 party system is a bad system, you know. Uh, but two parties, we should have more. We just should have. I've more. kind of said that for years. You know. Mm-hmm. What do you think, quickly, Josh? More parties, less parties? <laughs> How about a one-party system? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think either one is fine. I don't have any opposition to more. Yeah. If people should get what they're conscious and their uh, personal beliefs. Well, a one-party system oh, works. Wow. Just ask China. Commies. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, if, you know, if enough people can get together to make a serious challenge. Yeah. They're allowed to do that. They well, should. let's see if they can do it. Anyway, uh, hey, listen, I have just enjoyed this tonight. Uh, I don't know why there weren't more people listening, but they can go screw themselves. Maybe I won't even post the shows, so if they think they could listen to them later, they can't. Anyway, uh, that's just because I'm mean. Uh, Josh, great talking with you again. You're so bright, so smart, and you add a certain kind of amount of intelligence to this program. Uh, and uh, uh, Brian, thank you so much for joining us and for your wife joining us and for your Adrian joining us. Uh, she always has to make an appearance. <clears throat> yeah, I know. She makes the worst times sometimes. Uh, this, uh, a good night to, uh, to Alan. I thank you. Kevin, mm-hmm. always good to have you here. Tony, even though you're a moron, we enjoy your presence. And Jeff, 
Thank you so much for being here. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. They're gonna, I have to disappear, but we get, get rid of them before they hang up on me. Anyway, that said, there's no Jack Bishop again tonight. Jack, I, I didn't talk to Jack today, but I assume he is getting better. I will talk to him tomorrow and find out. Maybe post something as to how he's doing. Anyway, we'll see you again on Monday. We do the uh, pop-up show at 4 o'clock on Facebook. And then we will see you again on uh, Wednesday at 10.30. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Good night, everybody. Have a nice weekend.